Hey, welcome back to the channel. Atomic Heart. What happened to it? Where is it? Is it still in development? I give you the good, bad, and the ugly. Stay tuned. First off, I do want to apologize to my friends and subscribers for how long it has taken me to get this video out. But in an effort of being thorough and fair, the research did take us a little bit longer than I expected it to. For those of you who don't know, first, some backstory. Atomic Heart is an adventure first person shooter. It's developed by Munfish, a Russian developer. This game flew in under the radar with the first trailer dropping in May of 2018. And when it did, it drew a huge crowd. Everyone wanted to know, what is this? Where'd this game come from? Everyone clamoring to know more. Now, as for the story, I'll just read the about page for the official Atomic Heart website. I'll put a link in the video description below. Atomic Heart is an action RPG game. The story is about all the things that could have happened in the reality of a USSR, but didn't. A technical revolution has already occurred. Robots, the internet, holograms have already been invented. But all these innovations are immersed in the atmosphere of communism, imperialism, and confrontation with the West. The protagonist of the game is a Soviet KGB officer and his party sends him to the facility 3826 and are awaiting for the report. The world of the game consists of several regions. An open part of the surface with different biodomes. It has a multi-level structure with surface and underground abandoned departments of the facility. The combat system in ordinary non-PVP regions encourages the use of melee weaponry. While in PVP areas we give players more freedom and don't limit the use of firearms. Most of the enemies are a variety of combat vehicles produced at the factory. Each robot was originally made to serve the needs of the Soviet industry or to help protect Soviet citizens in daily life. The robots are implemented with a combat program that should be activated in case of war. Now, that's how Munfish describes the game. And that's the good news. I couldn't wait to play the game. With the trailer looking gorgeous, the story and gameplay aspects off the charts, they had me hooked. I couldn't wait to play this game. Now the bad. It looks like development issues are really plaguing this game. While I'll state these are only rumors, they do come from numerous sources. Issues like major layoffs at Munfish, leaving very few devs with experience to actually make the game. Moreover, sources also state that the original game has been scrapped and rebooted. Another issue that has surfaced is the game has no clear overall design instead using elements from other games. Another issue is while the game is supposed to be released on Steam, pre-orders are available on the Atomic Hearts website only. Starting the rumors that using pre-orders to keep the development afloat. Well, as I stated before, these are only rumors. But the release date being pushed farther and farther in the future, seems to add some validity to Atomic Hearts having some sort of issues. Originally it was slated for a second quarter 2019 release, but as of now according to their website, it's looking like the beta will launch sometime in Q4 of 2019 with rumors of actual launch in Q1 or Q2 of 2020. Now, Munfish has responded to these claims more or less stating that they are false 
using blanket statements and releasing some gameplay footage to show the game is real and that development is pressing on. So, at least we know the developer must have the radar on and listening to some if not all of these rumors. As for my own opinion, I do think the game is real and eventually we'll see the light of day. I believe there have been development issues along the way, but seriously, what game probably hasn't? Game development is not sugar and spice and everything nice. I'd say it's more along the lines of slugs and snails part of that rhyme. Really, the only curiosity is why is it only available for pre-order on their website and not Steam too? You know, Steam is the distributor it's supposed to be launched on. I mean, there is an Atomic Heart placeholder page on Steam, but there is no pre-order button. That does have me curious. The gameplay footage and trailers look absolutely brilliant. It looks like a mesh of Bioshock, Fallout, and Metro. When it does release, I'm sure we're all in for a real treat. But what do you guys think? Are you waiting for Atomic Hearts? Are you interested in playing it? Put it in the comments below. I read all of them. And if you like the video, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. I have more content on the way. Until next time, I'm out of here. You all have a good one.